Well, I'm a little shook up right now. Tonight it was a race to get everybody out as a fire went to a second alarm in a City Heights apartment building. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chicato. The flames broke out just before 9 in the 4200 block of 41st Street. CBS News 8's Richard Allen is live on the scene with a look at how firefighters were able to get a handle on it and how neighbors stepped up to help the residents who were forced out of their homes. Richard? Well, Carlo and Barbara Lee, while firefighters have yet to confirm the cause of this fire, the apartment building's manager tells us it was a bed on the third floor of this building inside one of the apartments that caught on fire, leading to this two alarm event, forcing the elderly residents inside to evacuate many in their pajamas and bathrobes, seeking shelter in a nearby church that opened its doors. But the church here, people come over there and got everybody out. They were very, very good about it. William Stapleton is manager of Michelle Manor Apartments on 41st Street in City Heights, where fire broke out in one of the third story units Monday evening shortly before 9. Crews arrived to find heavy fire showing from the uh, third floor. The building, which houses senior citizens, was evacuated through an orderly, though slow process. This building does house several uh, elderly persons. They obviously don't move as slow and require extra assistance in uh, getting out of the building. They all just grabbed every one person by, you know, one by one and brought them all down. Just smelt some smoke. Yeah. And it's outside and we saw the fire. Pastor Michael Whitley of the Rock Church City Heights, which is adjacent to the apartment building, immediately opened his church's doors to the evacuees, many of them in their bathrobes and pajamas. Uh, there are neighbors. We love our neighbors. As the evacuees safely sheltered in the church, firefighters worked to bring the fire under control. They advanced on the uh, on the third floor with a hose line and made a rapid attack on the fire. At one point, calling a second alarm out of an abundance of caution. There's a period of time for those resources to get here, and that's something you don't want to be playing catch up on. You want those resources coming. And while the apartment in which the fire started was severely damaged, the rest of the building was spared, as was everyone else who lives there. Thankfully, we believe everyone's safe. So. We're thankful for that. Um, he's here for them. They're our neighbors. And at last check, the apartment where this fire started is uninhabitable, as is the apartment right next to it. The residents in those apartments will be housed elsewhere for tonight. The Red Cross is on scene to help those people. As for the other residents who have been evacuated, they are still at the Rock Church City Heights, but they will be allowed to return to their homes later tonight. Carlo?